Okay, just talk about the piston heads. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is the bearings um, on the piston head and also on the spring guide. This is, of course, where your spring seat is going to ride. So that would basically sit on there just like that. And there is a purpose behind this. A lot of people, you know, are kind of skeptical on this thing. Well, why in the world would you need a bearing on there? What is the point? Well, the point is that under compression of a spring, these are in a coil. So as they compress, they will rotate a little bit along this this way so that's what's the bearing for bearing is for is it allows the spring to rotate freely without binding in the gearbox so uh, basically it kind of relieves stress on everything now you might be asking well why do i need two bearings you don't by any means you don't um you, in fact it's actually recommended that you only have one instead of two it can actually be more beneficial to just have one so um I will always roll in favor of the bearing on the spring guide. And the reason for that is, as I mentioned earlier um, when I was discussing pistons, weight is bad in this. Um, just like I was talking about waving your hand back and forth with or without uh, a weight in your hand, this bearing acts as a weight. Um, the bearing is actually almost as heavy again as the piston head is all by itself. So get this bearing out of the way, get the weight out of the equation, it makes everything a whole lot easier in a high speed setup, it'll make it move a whole lot faster and that is always a good thing. So, uh, Anyways, if you uh, guys have any questions, please comment the video or comment on the video and I will talk to you later. All right, bye.